Hey, good morning. No, rubbish morning. Really? Maybe I can think of a way of cheering it up for you. Sorry, Roy, can I just pay? I've got to be at school by 11, Seaside's at a year. Uh, what school is that? Uh, where the eye. He's not in any trouble about. They're just thinking of moving him up, is it? One pound eighty. Are you going now? Uh, yeah. Is it all right if we cook with you? Yeah, but be quick. Right, come on, you. We're going to school. So we're going shopping. Sorry, school trump shopping. Well, I thought I'd be going in September. Well, if you're looking for a good school, Rosie had a marvellous time at Oak Hill. I mean, it's private, but the facilities are excellent, and they do a regular European exchange and a ski trip. <laughs> Don't even think about it. You are going where high. Come on. Oh, where's your David? I've been phoning him all morning. How should I know? I'm not his keeper. Well, I've got a client due in at half past who's asked for him specifically, and I'm on my own in there. Uh, well, good luck with that one. Come on. So where's birthday boy, then? Um, it's still early. Well, if you're still feeling poorly, ma'am, then stay in bed. You can give him his present tomorrow. It'll be all right for the wedding. <laughs> no, ma'am, you don't sound like a fella. I mean, we all sound husky when we've got flu. Yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. Okay, bye. Audrey? Mm, sounds more like Barry White with a sore throat. <laughs> You know, I never thought I'd be doing this, making signings for my son's birthday. When I think of all the birthdays I missed, when he was blowing out his candles and pinning the tail on the donkey. You've got to stop fretting about the past, think about the future. You're right. Today is going to be a great birthday for Gavin, and tomorrow is going to be the happiest day of my life. Mine too. <laughs> oh, forgot the nuts. She's sulking. Don't think she fancies a couple of years at Weatherfield High. <laughs> I've got all that to come. <laughs> Everything all right for tomorrow? Yeah, yeah, I'll be here at nine o'clock. Just need a bit of a lift. Mm -hmm. You'll be able to do mine as well, yeah? Uh, yeah, maybe, if I get her at eight. On mine? Better make it seven. Yeah. Mum, you do realise all our best clothes are still in Italy? Yeah, maybe if we hit the shops early. Mmm, you just hold on to that thought. Have a nut. Where's Andy? I tried calling him. I think he's ignoring me. This is his birthday tea. I know. I told him, don't be late as soon as he went off with David. Went off with David where? Oh, I don't know. Some business for the salon. David knows. I know. Something going on? I hope not. Oh, where are they? David and Gavin? Maybe they got a better offer. Why are you missing them? No. I'm starving. Have a breadstick. No, I don't want a breadstick. Uh, I don't think so. Why not? Because you're 14. I thought you let her drink wine in my life. Who told you that? I'm sure you did. Did she? Some party this is. Can't eat the food, can't have a drink. No, that must be them now. Or with any luck, somebody interesting at least. Grand, the stripper's here. Ah, uh, very funny. Is Maria about? I'm afraid so, yeah. Oi, I heard that, Cheeky. Eh? Thanks for coming. How long do we have to stay? Not long, I promise. Let's just have a drink, eh? And try and mend the pain. Are you okay? Not really. First, your mum can't come because she's ill. Then David and Gavin decide to go away. Well, if you ask me, this whole day has turned into a bit of a disaster. Gavin will be here soon. He's probably just caught up in some traffic or something. Yeah, well, he better hurry up. It is his party, after all. Are you sure they didn't tell you where they were going? <sighs> no, he just said he was going with David to pick up some stuff for the salon. I don't believe this. No, I'm sure they'll be fine. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's not like the pair of them have ever done anything daft before, is it? So, uh, how long have you two been seeing each other, then? Not long now. A couple of months. Yeah. And it's going all right? Yeah, I think so. Still together, aren't we? So, the age difference doesn't bother you, then? All right, thank you, Bethany. It's not that big a difference. Anyway, I happen to like a woman who knows who she is, who's had a bit of experience. Well, you've defo landed on your feet with her, then. The little... <laughs> hey, don't let her wind you up. And besides, it's probably not good for you at your age. So, how can we move back here, then? Well, it's, um, it's a bit of a sore point. Yeah, like her, her ex-boyfriend and her weight. Would anybody like another drink? I'd love one. And how about you? Would you like maybe some uh, fruit juice or some fizzy water? Or how about a nice little glass of warm milk? Hmm. 
Yeah. It's a shame, isn't it? You can't have a proper drink. You know, like the grown-ups. Mm, I'm not bothered, really. Besides, I'd rather be too young than um, past it. I'm not past it. I didn't say you were. Although, I was wondering, what's it like? What's what like? The menopause. How have you still got all your own teeth? All right, I was only asking. Talk about touching. Hiya. Where have you been? We, we thought you'd forgotten. Oh, I did, sort of. Um, David asked us to give him a hand picking up some supplies in town for the salon, and then I, I bumped into an old mate, and uh, we had a drink. I just lost track of time. I'm sorry. Well, at least you're here now. And where's David? Uh, what, he, he took off, thought he was on his way back. Did he say that? No, not exactly. I'll tell you what, Dad, I can murder a beer. Coming right up. Where have you been? And where's David? He's with Callum. What's he doing with Callum? It's sort of complicated. Is he in trouble? I think so, yeah. Right, I'm calling the police. Uh, you can't. Why not? Like I said, it's complicated. No, will you just stop talking in riddles and tell me what's going on? Yeah. 